गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी कॉम्पिटेड द टेक्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोज फॉर स्पेसिफिक एंगल्स दैट आर एंगल जीरो थर्टी फोर्टी फाइव सिक्सटी एंड नाइनटी सो वी हैव सीन ऑल ऑफ द रेशियोज टोटल थर्टी रेशियोज वी हैव सीन इन द प्रीवियस टू वीडियो लेक्चर्स फॉर दोज टेक्नोमेट्रिक एंगल्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द सम्स रिलेटेड टू द टेक्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोज फॉर some specific angles here we are given the situation that in triangle abc angle b is right angle right angled at b with ab equals to 5 cm and angle acb equals to 30 sorry 30 degree so this is 30 degree you can see here that angle acb this angle is 30 degree right angle at angle b with ab equals to 5 cm given we need to find out the lengths of sides bc and ac so we are not having any of these two lengths so friends how will we proceed so first of all we will look for the trigonometric ratios what can we apply if i apply sin of 30 if this is my reference angle 30 if i apply sin of 30 then that will be opposite divided by hypotenuse if i apply cos of 30 then that will be adjacent divided by hypotenuse and if i apply tan 30 then that will be opposite divided by adjacent so we will select the ratio in such a way that we get the ratio or we get the values when we apply as one of the sides as ab right so what is the ratio containing ab suppose if i write down sin 30 that is ab upon ac if i write down cos 30 that is bc upon ac and if i write down tan 30 degree that will be ab upon bc so these are the three basic ratios we can apply you can apply the rest of the three also sec cosec and cot or cot sec and cosec it is not any matter here but we will apply these three only first and foremost for proceeding in a easy way so see if i apply cos 30 then the ratio is bc upon ac that is side adjacent to 30 divided by hypotenuse are you having bc no are you having ac no then we cannot apply this cos 30 because that leads us to nowhere right we will get a relation between bc and ac but we don't want the relation between ac and bc we need the values so we will apply this is not possible so we will apply sin 30 ab is given ac is not given so from this we can find out ac if i apply tan 30 then ab is given then what we can we find out we can find out bc yes or no so we can do it like that right so let us proceed in that way first of all how to write down here given that angle acb equals to 30 degree and ab equals to 5 cm therefore applying sin 30 that is equals to sin 30 degree that is equals to side opposite to 30 ab upon the hypotenuse that is ac right ab upon ac so what is the value of sin 30 can you see it from the table that we have written yesterday the values that you have written yesterday sin 30 that is 1 by 2 which is equal to ab is 5 given here divided by ac is not given so we will keep ac as it is is this thing clear right ac is not given so we will keep ac as it is and the rest of the values are given so we will put down the values so we cross multiplying ac into 1 and 2 into 5 therefore ac into 1 is ac equals to 2 into 5 is 10 cm so we got the first value ac that is equals to 
10 centimeter is it clear so we got the first ratio sin 30 that is ab upon ac replacing the value of sin 30 that is 1 by 2 and ab equals to 5 we will get this ratio and after that we cross multiply ac into 1 this ac will be multiplied here and this denominator 2 will be multiplied there with 5 so ac into 1 is ac equals to 2 into 5 is 10 okay so we got our first value and for the second value we got now the hypotenuse we are not having this side so we will apply cos 30 that is side adjacent divided by hypotenuse what is cos 30 if you get it from the table then cos 30 must be root 3 by 2 is equals to bc bc is given no replace bc as it is divided by ac we have found it 10 okay now what the thing happens is this 10 will only be cross multiplied because 2 is here with the constants therefore root 3 upon 2 into 10 equals to bc so you can cancel it out 2 and 10 by 5 and hence bc is equals to 5 into root 3 that is 5 root 3 centimeter 5 into root 3 that is 5 root 3 centimeter so we got our second required value that is bc equals to 5 root 3 centimeter hence the length of the sides bc is 5 root 3 centimeter and ac is 10 centimeter is it clear so in this way you are going to solve the sums as per the given question okay let us solve some more sums okay i am having a question here that in triangle pqr right angled at q pq equals to 3 cm pr equals to 6 cm determine angle qpr and angle prq okay so now as per this given question we can draw a figure right angled at q so first of all we will replace this q here let me place p and r here now pq is 3 centimeter given PR is 6 cm given and we need to find out the angle angle QPR so we need to find out this angle and angle PRQ so we also need to find out this angle so these two angles must be found out so first of all the first thing first we will do here is we shall assume sorry friends I got a slip of my pen so first thing first we will do here is we will find out first of all sorry we will not find out we will first of all assume this angle prq as theta here the solution starts here friends here let angle prq is equals to theta is it clear so angle PRQ is equals to theta that we have let. Now you can check that which sides are given to angle theta. 
साइड ऑपोजिट टू थीटा इज गिवन यस साइड सॉरी हाइपोटेन्यूस इज गिवन यस सो कैन यू से व्हाट इज द रेशियो रिलेटिंग द साइड ऑपोजिट टू थीटा एंड हाइपोटेन्यूस साइन यस और नो इफ आई से व्हाट इज साइन थीटा फॉर दिस ट्रायंगल द रेशियो ऑफ साइन थीटा फॉर दिस ट्रायंगल सो दैट विल बी साइड ऑपोजिट टू थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय हाइपोटेन्यूस यस और नो here let prq equals to theta and using the ratio using the ratio sin theta is equals to side opposite to theta divided by hypotenuse so sin theta equals to pq upon pr is pq given yes is pr given yes therefore sin theta is equals to 3 upon 6 you can cancel out 3 and 6 that will become 1 upon 2 therefore we got sin theta equals to 1 upon 2 right now check for the table that i have said yes sorry in the previous lecture yesterday or in the previous lecture check for the table at what angle at what angle you get the value of sin as 1 upon 2 at what angle you get the value of sin or you get the ratio of sin as 1 upon 2 at 30 yes right at 30 so sin theta equals to 1 upon 2 therefore we can say that sin theta is equals to sin 30 degree because sin 30 degree is equals to 1 upon 2 so in place of sin theta we can say that sin 30 degree is equals to 1 upon 2 and therefore we can say that theta is equals to 30 degree right theta is equals to 30 so this theta we got it as 30 degree is this thing clear so we got our first answer angle prq is equals to 30 degree this implies angle prq is equals to 30 degree okay now what is left the second one that is p sorry qpr now after the solution in triangle pqr angle p plus angle q plus angle r is equals to 180 degree angle sum property right by angle sum property asp the sum of all the angles in a triangle is equals to 180 degree that is the angle sum property is it clear now let us put down the value q that is 90 degree we already have r that is now 30 we don't have p therefore angle p plus 90 plus 30 is equals to 180 degree therefore angle p plus 120 is equals to 180 degree and hence angle p is equals to 180 degree minus 120 degree which is equals to 60 degree therefore finally angle qpr is equals to 60 degree right now if you will look in your textbook in this illustration they have directly written this step and they have written a question here why so the solution the answer to this why is this this is written in the textbook that angle prq equals to 30 therefore angle qpr is equals to 60 and they have written why so the answer to this why why is this that in triangle pqr we are having angle sum property that is angle p plus q plus r equals to 180 degree 
replacing the values and simplifying we get angle QPR is equals to 60 degree okay so that is the answer to your why so I think you must note this down okay now One more question of a different type now. The first question that we solved was for the ratio. The second question that we solved for finding out the angles. Now we shall see the third question. That is if sin of A minus B is equal to 1 by 2 and cos of a plus b is also equals to 1 upon 2 where 0 less than a plus b is less than or equals to 90 degree and the value of a is greater than b then find a and b this condition is given conditions are given that sin of a minus b is 1 by 2 cos of a plus b is also equals to 1 upon 2 you need to find out the values of a and b with this given condition that a plus b lies in between 0 and 90 and a is greater than b so first of all let us say that here given sin of a minus b is 1 by 2 so sin of a minus b 1 by 2 can you say that what is the value of 1 by 2 in the table of sin sin in the row in the row in the horizontal line of sin where do you get 1 by 2 at what angle obviously 1 by 2 is sin 30 so can I write therefore sin of a minus b is equals to sin 30 therefore a minus b is equals to 30 degree because if the functions are same that means if the ratios are same sin and sin the angles must also be same because this both of them are equal or you can simply logically in our desi words you can say that sin and sin are cancelled ok sin and sin are cancelled and cos of a plus b is also equal to 1 by 2 yes or no cos of a plus b is also equal to 1 by 2 therefore cos of a plus b is equals to cos 60 you can clearly see there where you can clearly see in the table that in place of or in the line in the column of 60 degree we get cos 60 is equals to 1 upon 2 right so the value of this 1 upon 2 in the cos in the ratio of cos is cos 60 again you can say that cos and cos cancel therefore a plus b is equals to 60 degree this is our second equation now friends this is not the things we want we want a and b as you can see that we have got two equations we will simply add equation 1 
एंड इक्वेशन टू देर फोर ए माइनस बी प्लस ए प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्री प्लस सिक्सटी डिग्री सो ऑल ऑफ दिस आर पॉजिटिव हेयर सो यू कैन रिमूव दिस ब्रैकेट्स माइनस बी एंड प्लस बी गॉट कैंसल्ड देर फोर टू ए इज इक्वल टू थर्टी प्लस सिक्सटी इज नाइंटी एंड देर फोर ए इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री A is equals to forty-five degree, and using equation one, we get using equation one, we get forty-five minus b is equals to thirty. Therefore, this b will be shifted on the other side. This thirty will come here. Therefore, forty-five degree minus thirty degree is equals to B, and hence B is equals to fifteen degree. Right? Forty-five minus thirty, that is fifteen one five. Fifteen degree. So we got our required values A and B. Let us check the condition. A plus B. What is A plus B? That is forty-five plus fifteen, sixty. You can see here A plus B is sixty, which is between zero and ninety. So first of all, this condition is verified. Yes. The second condition, A is greater than B. The value of A is forty-five degree. Value of B is fifteen degree, which satisfies the condition that A is greater than B. So yes, this values that we got of A and B both are the correct values. Is it clear? So in this way we can solve. Again, friends, what are this? Equation one and equation two that we have found out here. What are these? Can you identify them? They are. Linear equations. Linear. equations in two variables okay linear equations in two variables these are linear equations in two variables chapter number 3 where this a and b are both the variables we can take a and b capital a and capital b as the variables Okay, so these are linear equations, and hence we can solve by adding. Okay, good. Now let us move on to the exercise. In the exercise, we are having some simple questions. First of all, that requires some basic knowledge of the trigonometric values of the specific angles. So we will move on to. Exercise 8.2 number one. The question given is evaluate the following. Under that, the first one, sine 60 degree into cos 30 degree plus. Sine thirty degree into cos sixty degree, right? Sine sixty degree into cos thirty degree plus cos thirty degree. Sorry, sine sixty degree. Sine thirty degree into cos sixty. Again, sine sixty degree into cos thirty degree plus sine thirty degree into cos sixty degree. So we need to evaluate. So we are going to simply is equals to what is sine sixty? Sine sixty degree. Root three by two. Right. Into cos thirty degree. Again, root three by two. 
प्लस साइन थर्टी डिग्री वन बाय टू इन टू कॉस सिक्सटी डिग्री इज ऑल्सो वन बाय टू फ्रेंड्स यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर दी वैल्यूज एज आई सी सी द क्वेश्चन हियर दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल बी आज इन वन मार्क्स और टू मार्क्स एट दैट टाइम इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग दी वैल्यूज विथ यू इन योर माइंड देन नॉट ओनली मी गॉड हिमसेल्फ कैनॉट सेव यू एट दैट टाइम राइट सो यू मस्ट नो दी वैल्यूज दैट साइन सिक्सटी रूट थ्री बाई टू कॉस थर्टी इज रूट थ्री बाई टू साइन थर्टी इज वन बाई टू एंड कॉस सिक्सटी इज ऑल्सो वन बाई टू इफ यू नो दी वैल्यूज एंड यू आर गोइंग टू सिंपली रिप्लेस द वैल्यूज इन दी क्वेश्चन सिंप्लीफाई योर आंसर एंड हेंस यू गेट द आंसर so that is equals to root three into root three that is three divided by two into two is four plus one into one is one divided by two into two is four right so we got the values three by four simplification of root three by two into root three by two and one by four that is simplification of one by two and one by two so three by four plus one by four which is equals to common denominator four In the numerator, we are going to add three and one, so three plus one, that is four upon four, which is equals to one. So the answer to the given question here is one. Okay, the answer here is one. Is it clear? So this is how you will go. You are going to simplify your answer. Let us solve the second one here itself. The question is two. Tan square forty five degree plus cos square thirty degree minus sine square sixty degree. Again, now we are having somewhat complicated question. Two tan square forty five plus cos square thirty minus sine square sixty. So let us again put down the values from the table. That is two into tan square forty five. So it is written as tan forty five whole square plus cos thirty whole square minus. This step, friends, you are not going to write down in the examination. आ स्टेप एक्जाम में लखव जरूरी नहीं के लखवा समझ नहीं पड़ती क्या क्वेश्चन शू कह मांगे एना आ स्टेप लखेलो दिस स्टेप इज रिटर्न फॉर दो स्टूडेंट्स हू डोट नो हाउ दी स्क्वेर थिंग इज गोइंग राइट सो देट इज टू टेन स्क्वेर फोर्टी फाइव देट इज इंटरप्रिटेड एज टू इंटू टेन फोर्टी फाइव होल स्क्वेर द स्क्वेर इज ओनली फॉर टेन फोर्टी फाइव नॉट फॉर टू ओके सो टू वी विल कीप इट एज इट इज cos square 30 that is cos 30 degree whole square minus sin square 60 that is sin 60 degree whole square now it will be easier for you to put down the values so that is 2 into 1045 is 1 so that is 1 square plus cos 30 that is root 3 by 2 whole square minus sin 60 that is again root 3 by 2 whole square Is it clear, everyone? Ten forty-five. That is one. Cos thirty is root three by two. Sine sixty is also root three by two. Let us simplify. So that is two into one square is one plus root three by two whole square. That is three upon four. Root three square is three, and two square is four minus root three by two again. That is three upon Four, so plus three by four and minus three by four got cancelled. Two into one is two, and hence that is the answer. So the answer to the second question is two, and this way you are going to simplify, friends. Evaluate. This is the evaluation. This is the values. The evaluation of the given set of questions. Okay, so let us. See some more questions.
The third one. Question. Cos 45 degree divided by sec 30 degree plus cos sec 30 degree. See, in the first and second question that we have solved here previously, we had the simple values that was sine, cos and 10. Now we got sec 30 degree and cos sec 30 degree also. So we need to remember all of these values also, right? Okay, let us put down the values. Cos 45 degree, that is 1 upon root 4 divided by sec 30. What is sec 30? No. Do you know the value of sec 30? If you don't know the value of sec 30, do you know what is cos 30? Root 3 by 2. So sec 30 is exactly reciprocal of that and that is 2 by root 3 plus cos sec 30. What is sin 30? 1 by 2. So cos sec 30 is reciprocal of this and that is 2. Okay. So that goes for 1 upon root 2 whole divided by 2 by root 3 plus 2. So let us simplify the denominator first. That is 1 upon root 2 whole divided by 2. Cross multiply 2 plus root 3 into 2 that is 2 root 3 divided by root 3. So, from here the fraction goes divided. So, that is the numerator of numerator, denominator of numerator, numerator of denominator and denominator of denominator. So, this root 3 friends that will go and multiply with the 1 and this root 2 will come and multiply with the denominator, sorry, numerator of the denominator here. Right. So, that happens here. So, let us see how this ratio works here. That is equals to root 3 into 1 divided by 2 plus 2 root 3 into root 2. Right, 2 plus 2 root 3 into root 2. Simplify this. That is equals to root 3 divided by. We will keep this as it is. So that is root 2 into 2 plus 2 root 3. Okay, we will keep the numerator, sorry, denominator as it is. Now let us rationalize the denominator first. So that is equals to root 3 upon root 2 into 2 plus 2 root 3 multiplied by 2 minus 2 root 3 upon 2 minus 2 root 3. We have rationalized only one of the terms friends. We have rationalized only this one of the terms. Root 2 is still remaining to rationalize. But first of all, let us see the rest of the thing. That is equals to root 3 into 2 minus 2 root 3 divided by root 2 into 2 plus 2 root 3 into 2 minus 2 root 3. Right? That is equals to root 3 into 2. That is 2 root 3 minus root 3 into root 3 is 3 and into 2 is 6 divided by root 2 into 2 square minus 2 root 3 square. Okay or not? This must be okay. Yes or no? Yes. Why? Because this is A plus B into A minus B. Is it cool? 
right is it cool or not yes it is so let us simplify this now 2 root 3 minus 6 divided by root 2 into 2 square is 4 minus this is 4 into 3 12 2 root 3 square 2 root 3 square so that goes here 2 into 2 is 4 root 3 into root 3 is 3 and 4 into 3 is 12 so 4 minus 12 is minus 8 so you can take out 2 common from the numerator that is root 3 minus 3 upon root 2 into minus 8 so you can cancel out 2 and minus 8 by minus 4 that is equals to root 3 minus 3 upon minus 4 root 2 this is minus here right minus 4 root 2 so now you are going to rationalize what root 2 or 4 root 2 we are going to only rationalize the root 2 not 4 root 2 ok so that is equals to again root 3 minus 3 upon minus 4 root 2 rationalizing the denominator again multiplying and dividing by root 2 so that goes like this simplified that is equals to root 3 minus 3 into root 2 divided by minus 4 root 2 into root 2 simplifying root 3 into root 2 is root 6 minus 3 root 2 upon this is 8 root 2 into root 2 is 2 and 4 into 2 is 8 this minus sign will go in the numerator that goes like 3 root 2 minus root 6 upon 8 and that is your answer 3 root 2 minus root 6 upon 8 the final answer see what we have did in this two step is this minus we have carry forward to the numerator here it is in denominator that minus is carry forward to the numerator and hence we get the terms in the reverse order here it was root 6 minus 3 root 2 in the second step we have written 3 root 2 minus root 6 so the order of the terms will be changed is it clear so that is how we get the value of this third question